Hi guys, Nick here from Intuitive Tennis. Today I want to talk about the forehand grip. So it turns out there are five forehand grips you can choose from. Which one is the best? Let's find out. So let's start off with the um, grips. So we have eight uh, bevels on the racket here. I numbered them from one, one through eight. And we're going to start off with the Continental forehand grip. Okay, this is a very popular grip uh, back in the day. And players like Stefan Edberg, John McEnroe use the Continental grip on the forehand. And it's basically your base knuckle right here goes on bevel number two and you put your hand in like the handshake position and you end up with basically a forehand continental grip so another way to hit the forehand is with the eastern grip so players like Federer and Del Potro use this grip and from back in the days you have Pete Sampras, Andrew Agassi and many others uh, use the eastern forehand grip and at the third bevel and when we put the index knuckle there uh, it looks something like this So the most popular grip uh, worldwide is the semi-western grip and they, it's very easy to find this grip it's on the fourth bevel here basically you put your hand straight down onto the racket and with the strings flat to the ground and you end up pretty much in a semi-western grip uh, this grip is used almost exclusively on the WTA tour uh, almost all the girls play with this grip on the men's tour some of the greatest forehands of all time have used this grip uh, Fernando Gonzalez uh, known for one of the fastest forehands of all time he used a semi-western uh, you have Rafa, he uses a semi-western, and then Andy Murray, and many others. So the next grip is the western grip. Basically, it's the fifth bevel, and we put our base knuckle on the fifth bevel, and it looks something like this. Uh, this grip is actually used by Djokovic, and uh, many other players. So you got Nishikori, uh, Nick Kyrgios, uh, Jack Sock, uh, etc. Um, from back in the day, there were players using this grip as well. Uh, you have Jim Courier, and many others. And lastly, uh, we have the Hawaiian grip. Um, I'm not sure if that's the official name. I guess it's West of Western, so that's why it's called Hawaiian. And basically, it's uh, the sixth bevel. And you put a base knuckle on the sixth bevel, and it almost looks like a, like a continental uh, backhand grip. And basically, like this. That's the Hawaiian grip. So let's talk about the Continental Grip first. This is a grip from the past and I don't think it's going to come back. And if we look at in a Continental Grip, the contact point is going to be further behind, almost next to the body like this. And the further in front I go, the more difficult it becomes to close the racket face. So this is something that's not going to come back uh, to the modern tennis. As far as the Hawaiian Grip, this is a grip that's way too extreme. Uh, there's only one player and history that I can remember that used this grip and that's Alberto Bersategui who was in the final of the French Open and was number seven in the world and you can see the contact point uh, there's a very big amount of wrist, wrist flexion here and it's just a big danger for a wrist injury this way you can see you actually use the same side of the racket uh, for the forehand and, and for the backhand so this grip we can also scratch off the table what are the differences between an uh, eastern grip and a semi-western and a western? Well, if you just look at the hand position, so in an eastern grip, you can see our, the hand is behind the racket. So obviously, uh, going up like this, it's not impossible, uh, but it's not as easy as if we take a semi-western, you can see the hand is more underneath the racket, and uh, it's a lot easier to go up when the hand is underneath the racket, or if you go even further uh, to a full western grip, you, you can see the hand is completely underneath the racket, and now it's going to be difficult to go this way we're almost going to have to go up and so with this grip uh, with the full western grip it's probably a little bit more difficult to hit the ball uh, straight horizontal like this not impossible um, and with the uh, eastern grip it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult to go go up straight like that not impossible you see Federer does it many other players do it uh, and so with the semi-western grip I feel like this kind of a a trade-off between the two and it's you can go up very easily 
or you can go kind of straight across like this. And you can see that in the women's tour. The majority of the WTA players use a, a semi-western grip and uh, most of them hit the ball very straight. And then you can look at somebody like a Nadal who uses also a semi-western grip and he has probably the most topspin of all time. Uh, so it's possible that the semi-western grip is the most versatile grip out there. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.